Hey folks, Jeff DePaul here reporting for Attractions Magazine here at Universal Studios Hollywood where it is a butterbeer season. They have the same celebration happening over at Universal Orlando. Of course, butterbeer, it's one of the best food offerings in the park in my opinion. Let's give a taste to the classic butterbeer. Mm, it's as good as I remember. Uh, admittedly, butterbeer is like one of my favorite tastes ever, so I'm a bit biased here, but let's go through some of the different offerings they have here at Universal Studios Hollywood and kind of rent, uh, rate their intensity. This classic butterbeer, if you've had it, we'll use that as a base scale. Let's put that at like a, a five. That's the base. Then there's the butterbeer ice cream. This is not the soft serve. This is like the hard classic ice cream. Compared to original cold butterbeer, let's see how intense it is. Tasty, but less intense. I would, this is pretty low intensity. I'd say like maybe a three. Three for intensity for the ice cream butterbeer. Alrighty, next up is the butterbeer potted cream. I actually don't think I've ever had this, so this will be a first. Let's check out its intensity. Ooh, it's gonna fall. Mm. This is light as well compared to the the OG soda. Hmm. I'm gonna rate it a three as well as far as uh, intensity of flavor, but it's real. I actually like how light and nice this is. So this is like way higher than a three rating as far as deliciousness, but intensity pretty low. And now for the butterbeer fudge. This just looks like it has an intense flavor. So let's. Let's give a bite and do it. Yep. It's like, it's like a seven intensity. This is like, if you had a handful of candy corn and threw it in your mouth, that kind of intensity. So, unless you want a lot of butterbeer flavor, the fudge might not be for you. Alrighty, I got a ton of soft serve ice cream in front of me from Florian Fortescue's Ice Cream Counter, brand new here at Universal Studios Hollywood. We got all the flavors. I'm gonna give them a try. Let's see how this goes. The first one here is classic butterbeer. So let's see what the intensity rating is for this compared to the other stuff I tried today. Mmm. Mmm. That's like a four intensity. So not too intense with the butterbeer, but yummy. I love soft serve ice cream in general. So that's the butterbeer. Next up, we got classic vanilla. Tastes like vanilla. <laughs> it's good. This is chocolate. Classic chocolate. Let's see how chocolatey it is. Now that's more intense chocolate than that is intense butterbeer. That's actually a really good chocolate. I like that one. We got orange. I have a feeling this is gonna taste like one of those orange creamsicles. Let's find out. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> it does not taste like one of those. Mm. That's kind of like um, less it tastes more like an orange than like a candy orange, to be completely honest. Hmm. This one, Granny Smith. Look at this green color. This is like a Grinch green right here. Granny Smith. Now that is like a candy apple sort of thing. Interesting. This is the one I'm most excited for. You know what? I think I'm gonna save it for last. <laughs> this is mint. We're gonna skip it, we're gonna come back. Don't let me forget. <laughs> This is toffee apple. So what they did here, if you take a look, it's actually just the two different flavors. So the apple, which I tr just tried, and then below that is the toffee, which is down here. Let's try them together. Actually, maybe, let me, let me try the toffee first, and then we'll try them together. So I'm gonna skip ahead to the toffee nut. Hmm. Kinda has like a, coffee-like flavor to it. 
which is not my favorite flavor. But let's see how it tastes with the toffee apple. So as I said, we got some toffee, we got some apple, the two flavors mixed together. Mm. It's better than them both individually. So if you're gonna go for those, I'd go for the mix, toffee apple. Next up, we got banana. I'm not a banana fan. I'm hoping this tastes like candy banana and less like real banana. That's an intense banana flavoring, but it is like candy banana, so not terrible. Pistachio, ooh, I'm excited for this. By the way, we asked, and there, and there are apparently no nuts in these ice creams, so for the pistachio and, and the nut flavored kinds, no nuts in them. Tastes so nutty though, wow. That is very pistachio. And it's that time. <laughs> It is the time for mint, my favorite flavor in general, but I've never tasted this before. I'm gonna get a big scoop. I really like mint. When it's Girl Scout season, guess what? Thin mints is the way to go. Let's see if mint soft serve is the way to go with this, uh, all these offerings. It is not. <laughs> It's a little toothpaste here. <laughs> uh, but, so what would my favorite be? See, now I'm throwing through a loop because honestly, I'm gonna go with classic chocolate. That was my favorite one, I think. So, there you go. All of the new soft serve flavorings. So that was a lot of sweetness for one morning. I gotta wash it down with, like I said, my favorite butterbeer is the hot butterbeer. Let's, uh, cleanse the palate with some hot butter beer, shall we? <laughs> Remember, this event is going through April 30th here at Universal Studios Hollywood and Universal Orlando. Be sure and check it out. Hot butter beer, still the way to go. Classic, perfect, and honestly, it's my favorite. Take a look at this. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's like melted ice cream, but hot. Oh. I really love this stuff.